It's a scene that repeats itself in hundreds of suburban households these days. Dad's staying home and watching the kid while mum's at work. <laughs> yeah, what's Easter Bunny going to bring you? But this dad's just a little different from your average house husband. Joe Keithley works the graveyard shift as the leader of the leanest, rawest band to ever come out of Vancouver. You want to go out and, uh, and annihilate your audience in one way or the other. I don't mean in a bad way, but uh, you know, sort of pick their minds and uh, try to shake it up and tear it apart, right? DOA was spawned from the same scene that gave rock music a much needed energy boost in the mid 70s, punk music. It gave birth to groups like the Sex Pistols and Billy Idol. Punk music's signature wasn't just its raw, stripped down beat, but also its social conscience. Groups like The Clash became the voice of the working class, screaming a collective sense of outrage to the world. And in Vancouver, the band that made those same statements, the band which figuratively speaking gave the finger to the establishment, was DOA. Their leader was Joe Keithley, alias Joey Shithead. People who run the society are trying to fill my head with and that's why I call myself shithead. Is the world still filling your head with I think I've learned to a great degree now is how to screen it out and try and just uh, get the real ideas out there as opposed to like the, all the crap they're trying to shove at you. Although the band formed in 1978 has been through numerous personnel changes, a version of DOA is alive and well today, and their leader, looking no worse for wear, is still Joe Keithley. A lot of things they called me I couldn't repeat over the air, but uh, musically, uh, you could call us musical terrorists, you could call us punk rockers, you could call us uh, rock music that leans on uh, metal, punk, and uh, excessive uh, sloganeering. Uh, it's still like a loud uh, bash and crash them, uh, kick them in the teeth type approach to rock music. It was open, my mom obviously looks in it, right, and there's like I don't know, about seven beers in there and about four packs of cigarettes in my shaving kit, and that's all I had. DOA have been plugging away at the music business for 10 years now, and though they've got a modest cult following and a lot of critical acclaim, you've got to wonder why they've never really made it. People know that uh, we're a bunch of loudmouths, you know, and we don't really shut up for anybody. So I think that's part of it. I, I mean, the music that we play is not... Well, it don't sound like Michael Jackson, and don't sound like George Michaels, and it don't sound like you too. Bob Dylan didn't ever have to you know, compromise his music particularly to make it. I think it's just a combination of circumstances that determine who does and who doesn't. Disc jockey and music critic Elio Day has been part of the Vancouver music scene for more than a decade. Why has a band with that kind of a leader and those kind of qualities, why aren't they as big as you two? whether it's the production values, whether it's the packaging, all those things have to be in place. Um, with U2, it took a couple of albums until that came into place. It didn't happen right at the start. So the band can work, but unless they're marketed correctly, it's not going to happen. Is there a chance to make it past 
I don't think so. I still think they have a lot of fire in them. Most musicians are just, uh, they watch the trends and the charts, and they go exactly like that, and they have their manager tells them what to do, and that's what they do, right? <laughs> to create art or music or whatever you want to call it, you got to be original and just follow your heart and what you believe in and not what somebody else tells you or what's like currently popular. If you take like some of the more mainstream record companies, they, they don't like what we do because usually when you take a band, you want to form them and like twist them around. Let's say kind of like a, a sponge cake that will try and sop up the public's money. Hey, you know one thing about the social credit government? Why is that the screw you? If you count on that, at least they're consistent, right? They have certain politics and they live those politics, which is more than a lot of people who have political music uh, actually carry through. And perhaps another reason the groups had limited success is their insistence on keeping the band politically committed, supporting efforts like this recent student protest against tuition fee hikes. We try to be, you know, anti-racist, uh, anti-sexist, native rights, uh, prisoner rights, um, done benefit for like rape relief. You know, done stuff to try and help kids so they'd have like a, a skateboard ramp in their town, right? You know, we're not uh, members of the NDP, we're not anarchists, we're not communists, uh, we're people that uh, believe in uh, some sort of justice. Part of DOA that I want to emphasize is that DOA is like uh, we try to be entertaining. Well, I'm going to do a rehearsal and I'd like you guys to be here so we can you position will be you. Here. I'm going to get a real specific frame for you and then move off and play whatever you need. We're there. When you're not living off the financial fat of a hit record, you've got to make your money how you can. And one of the better jobs Joe Keithley's landed is a part in a movie alongside ex-wrestler Gene Kaniski. Uh, the legitimate theater, Shakespeare, is this a dagger which I see before the... <laughs> it's a notch above the construction work Keithley's had to accept in the past. Well, no more, no more the second fiddle billing. We want top billing on the next picture. And you're standing beside me, but you said, let's go. Right, 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 right. You can just, you know, slam on the back end and just step through, you know? Yeah, okay. It's way slower than the music business, like getting anything done. It's like uh, just incredibly slow. You end up just sitting around drinking coffee after coffee, right? You know, and waiting to do your stuff. But I thought it was quite a lot of fun. 51, take one. A marker. Mark it. I bet I can't do this. Or this. And I definitely can't do this. Well, officer, good buddy. Let me show you how we did back at the academy. Ah. All right. Thank you. But Keith Lee and DOA haven't given up on the idea of making a full-time living from the band. Okay, you're rolling. They've recently signed with a new record label, a label they hope will offer them some promotional support. And they're putting together plans to tour the United States. They've got a new album in the can. Look for it on your shelves in July. I don't live to meet other people's standards. I live to meet my own standards. And hopefully I measure up that, up to that most of the time. You find people uh, do that a lot, tend to look at you and say there's a mindless droid? If they draw that conclusion and I can see that what they're doing, then uh, it's easy to see that's probably what they are, and they're probably they're really shallow, uh, closed-minded people. What time do you, you guys go on? This stage is really slippery, so these guys, if you get some of it, you watch them, I bet someone's going to land their butt tonight. Uh, yeah, I usually do uh, warm up my voice, and it's like a... Because um, all the guitars are going up. Yeah! Oh, yeah! Stuff like that, you know? And while DOA wait for that elusive break on the charts, they'll continue to pump out what critics call some of the best live music in the country.
and I still get a real kick out of it, and that's why I still do it, right? So I'll keep doing that until it's just like I look at my guitar and I go, why am I playing this stupid thing? <laughs> Being a father has taught Joe Keithley a lot about patience. He's applied those lessons to his career. He's in for the long haul when it comes to the music business. And while he waits for that lucky break, he's got a full life in the meantime. Oh, what is successful? To me, DOA is already successful. Here you go. Oops. For Pacific Report, I'm Robert Osborne.